All right, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Seems that Earth Costa has been keeping busy these last few days. We have another signing to announce. Hopefully, this one sticks. Maybe. Don't know. Um, the Raven, former Raven, former Viking, I guess current Raven again, Michael Pierce has signed a three year, $16.5 million contract to come back to the Ravens. Uh, I mean, I, we need to help on a defensive line. I'm pretty sure that there were others that we could have gotten. I personally would have preferred Daniel Hunter because he is an impact player and he can rush the passer. But, you know, we didn't get Zadarius, so we brought in Michael Pierce with whom I wasn't too impressed with the first time he was here. Apparently he's had the same issues in Minnesota that he had while he first was with us. He can't seem to stay on the field. Now I know in 2020, 2020 I believe, he opted out for COVID, so he just didn't play because he didn't feel comfortable. But after that, he had a few issues with injuries last year. Now they say he did well while he was on the field and while he was playing, but the problem was that wasn't that often. Don't know. I didn't follow him. Wasn't really caring too much because I didn't think that he was going to come back. I didn't think that it was a possibility. I didn't think that we would even want him, but apparently he fits the numbers. So we brought him in and once again, another signing on defense. I, I don't, I really don't know what to say. Like, I don't know. And I'm sure, uh, I, well, I believe we have another defensive player coming in tomorrow for a visit. And we'll probably sign him too. You know, it's a defensive party. Let's go. Ooh. Um, once we sign him, you know, we can draft Jordan Davis. Now we got three defensive linemen that can rush the passer. And we'll go from there, I guess. I, You know, I don't know. You know, I, I just give my opinion. I'm not a GM. I'm not a scout. I'm not anybody. So what do I know? You know, I just give my opinions on what I see. And this ain't it. Unfortunately, excuse my grammar, but this ain't it. Michael Pierce, like, I was cool with Zadarius. I mean, I think we overpaid, but... I was cool because if he actually was up to form, we would have somebody that could put some pressure on the QB. Now with Michael Pierce, we got Brandon Williams, one and a half, 2.0. I don't know. I, you know, I, I just have a feeling about bringing in people that can possibly only be on the field for two downs. Like, if you're not on the field, all three downs, why waste the money? Let's get people in here that's going to play, be on the field, make an impact. All this run stuffing and number one rush defense and all that stuff is for the birds. I mean, it's for the birds. Teams aren't really even running nowadays. So, I mean, I guess the, I guess the flock has something to be happy about. I don't know. I, I don't know. I just have to wait for the draft to find out what the true vision is for this team. Like, are they really trying to build the defense up? Are they thinking that they're building defense up? I don't know because let us not act like we don't have holes on offense. Like, come on. But Sarah Allison was on Twitter and was like, hey, you think – that EDC's done, and what do you think he's going to do? And I was, then I told her, like, listen, we're going to sign a defensive player. I'd have bet my life on it that that was going to be it because it's what we do. And some things never change. <laughs>